just in case you don't see your gracilis retracted backwards, you still can see the underlying muscles in, in view. So here we have our gracilis, superficial muscle. Above the gracilis, you see a tiny bit of your adductor femoris, adductor longus, pectineus, and iliopsis. Again, gracilis, adductor femoris, adductor longus, pectineus, and iliopsis. Now let's take a look at the lower portion of the limb or the leg. Here we see our calf muscle known as our gastrocnemius. Gastrocnemius, just like the human. The leg is the exact same as the human. So gastrocnemius, the inner portion here, soleus, so gastrocnemius, soleus, here, in the medial uh, view of the leg, we have our flexor digitorum longus. So gastrocnemius, soleus, flexor digitorum longus. What bone is this? Tibia bone. Remember, always behind the tibia bone, you have your flexor digitorum longus. Always in front of your tibia bone, you have your tibialis anterior. Again, gastrocnemius soleus, flexor digitorum longus, tibia bone, in the front of the tibia, tibialis anterior. Now taking a look at the posterior portion of the cat, uh, also referred to as the dorsal view. Here is the lower extremity or portion of the leg. We have our gastrocnemius, which would be the calf muscle, gastrocnemius, soleus, so gastrocnemius, soleus. Here, just like the human, we have the gastrocnemius, the muscle connected to your calcaneal bone or heel bone, known as the calcaneal tendon, calcaneal tendon, gastrocnemius, soleus, peroneus muscle, Peroneus, extensor digitorum longus, and here we have our tibialis anterior muscle. Again, gastrocnemius, soleus, peroneus, peroneus, extensor digitorum longus, and tibialis anterior. Continuing up the leg, we have our very large muscle known as our biceps femoris. Biceps femoris. So biceps femoris. And so the medial portion of our leg, on the back portion of our leg, we have our semitendinosus. Medial portion, semitendinosus. Lateral portion, biceps femoris. We need to know one muscle underneath your biceps femoris and this muscle would be known as our tenissimus muscle tenissimus muscle and don't get confused with the sciatic nerve so the sciatic nerve and nerves are normally very tough and very hard to cut and they're also somewhat white whereas the muscle is somewhat of a tan color so tenissimus sciatic nerve and here you see your semi tendinosis underneath semimembranosis underneath, semi underneath yeah, right here so semitendinosis semimembranosis vastus lateralis and tensor fascia latte the only one from this view you have to really recognize is tenissimus putting the biceps femoris back down and continuing up towards the back we have our tail wagging muscle known as the caudo femoralis. Caudo femoralis. So biceps femoris, caudo femoralis, right here. And this large muscle right here is known as our gluteus maximus. So we have caudo femoralis, 
gluteus maximus, gluteus medius. Again, caudofemoralis, gluteus maximus, and gluteus medius. There's no gluteus minimus. Again, biceps femoris, caudofemoralis, gluteus maximus, gluteus medius. We see the beginning of your tensor fascia latte, all this muscle, beginning of the tensor fascia latte. And here's the beginning of your sartorius muscle. Again, down over here we have our semitendinosus, biceps femoris. Underneath our biceps femoris we have our tenissimus, caudofemoralis, gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, beginning of our tensor fascia latte, and the beginning of our sartorius. Continuing up the back now, we have our large back muscle known as our latissimus dorsi. Latissimus dorsi. So, latissimus dorsi, and the other muscle we see with the striations running down is our external oblique. All this is your external oblique. Your back muscle, latissimus dorsi. Latissimus dorsi. Continuing up to the neck portion of your back, you have the following muscles. Now remember your neck muscle is called your trapezius. So you have three heads of your trapezius muscle. You have one, two, three. So you have the smaller triangle on the top portion of your neck. You have the second head right here and the third larger triangle on the bottom portion. Near your clavicle bone, you have your clavotrapezius muscle. Over the acromion process of your scapula, you have your chromiotrapezius. A chromiotrapezius. Over the spine, you have your spinotrapezius. 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 A chromiotrapezius and clavotrapezius. So think of it as an acronym, as C-A-S. C-A-S. Clavo, A for acromio, and S for spino. Clavotrapezius, acromiotrapezius, spinotrapezius. Taking a look at the shoulder muscle, because we also have three divisions of that as well. So remember, your neck muscle is called your trapezius, and your shoulder muscles are always called your deltoids. We've seen this one from the ventral view as well, the belly side. This one over your clavicle, and it's remember, it's a shoulder muscle, so it's a deltoid. This one is your clavodeltoid. Continuing down, inserting onto your chromium process of your scapula, you have your acromiodeltoid. So clavodeltoid, acromiodeltoid, and this long one right here, spinodeltoid. Again, C, A, S. Clavodeltoid, acromiodeltoid, and spinodeltoid. Same thing for the neck muscles. Clavotrapezius, acromiotrapezius, spinotrapezius, latissimus dorsi, latissimus dorsi, this whole large muscle like a cape, latissimus dorsi. Separating your deltoids or your shoulder muscles, clavo-acromio-spino-deltoid, from your clavo-acromio-spino-trapezius, you have this muscle right here known as your levator scapulae ventralis. Now note that has an extra name in it from the human one. The human is known as levator scapulae, but in the cat it's known as the levator scapulae ventralis separates your deltoids from your trapezius. Now let's review that. We have our 